Kokomo, released in 1988 under the Beach Boys, is an excellent summer strummer of a tune. It lends itself extremely well to a chilled acoustic guitar arrangement. We have a more percussive rhythmic strumming pattern for the intro and the choruses. When we get to the verses, we have a more resonating, ringing strumming pattern that's an old favourite. We are going to look at the intro first. It is the chorus lyrically, but it's very percussive. As ever, the percussion on this song has a multitude of layers and textures. So I have taken a through thread of the rhythm and the accents to make it effective on one acoustic guitar and keep it simple. Aruba to make a It's all about the accents and the feel. So the rhythm here will be muted. So we're muting the strings to get the percussive clicky chuck sound. The rhythm's in 4-4 four, four, and what we're doing here is playing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's it and it's bare bones foundation. We need accents in there. The accents are going to come in on beats two and four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Put a little bit of extra pressure behind your strum to make the accent stand out prominently. The other way to create some definition is to do the one and on the bass strings and then the accent on the treble strings and then bring on the two and back onto the bass string. So we get a little bit of depth. A playthrough of the intro, slightly slowed down. Aruba, Jamaica. At the ending, I put an F chord to go with the word Jamaica in a stop. I'm using the bar chord there for the low bass notes, but you could also use a smaller F or the F major 7. That acts as a punctuation to take us in to the verse. We have some lovely summer beachy sounding chords in this song today. Major 7s, minor 7s thrown in with some sevens and majors. So the first chord in the song is a straight up, open C major chord, the good old favorite. We then go to a C major seven, a G minor seven. I'll be playing the bar chord here. If you aren't able to do that, we can do that as a four string chord. You can play that with the four fingers like this if you need to. We then go to an F major seven. I'll be playing this one here. You could do the open F major seven if you wish. We then go to an F minor seven. Again, you could do the four fingered one here, just on the first fret or the one finger there. We have a D seven. I played this one here. You could play the open D7. We have a G7. And in the chorus, there's an additional A minor. Moving on to the verse, we have a good old favorite strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. We play this each bar. So every time we play a chord, we play this strumming pattern. The entire verse is 16 bars, but we have an eight bar chord sequence that is repeated twice. For the feel of this strumming pattern, we want the strings to resonate and ring out in between each chord. Think chilled, so nice and relaxed. The detail is that the first beat has a little bit more emphasis on it. So put a bit more pressure into the first down strum and then the rest of the bar. 
is a bit lighter. Playing you through the chord sequence. Three, four, C. C major seven. G minor seven. F major seven. F minor seven. C. D seven. G seven. Back to C. Moving on to the chorus now and we start to pick up a little bit of groove. The chorus really, the feel of it is in two parts. This is governed by the style of the vocal arrangement. The first part has a much more percussive feel to it. One, two, three, Aruba. That rhythm for the first half of the chorus, a one bar example using the C chord. Down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up. One and two and three and four and. I focus on the bass notes of the chords when I'm doing the strums for this because it just gives it a bit more urgency and it gives me somewhere to build later on in the song, which I quite like, because we've got a repeated chorus. So the mute we attain by doing a down strum, but immediately muting the strings with the outside of our palm. So I'm still hitting the strings with the pick, but I've already muted the strings. So the pick's coming down after I've muted. So we get a real nice, strong, clicky sound. Playing through the sequence of chords, we have two bars of C, two bars of F, and two bars of C. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We change to F, one and two and three Then back to C, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Aruba, Jamaica, Bermuda, Bahama, Kilago, Montego. At this point we move to an F major 7 chord and we resume the strumming pattern from the verse because the feel of the vocal starts to change. F major 7, F minor 7, C, we now go to an A minor, D7 and then a single strum on G7, a slow playthrough. Aruba, Jamaica, Bermuda, Bahama, Kilago, Montego, Take a dance to Kokomo, Take it slow. The percussive break that follows is the same percussive rhythm as the intro. Martinique, that Montserrat mystique. Verse 2. Pua to see. Our chemistry. Song structure wise, we have the intro, verse 1, chorus 1, percussive break. Verse two, chorus two, percussive break. We have an instrumental where there's a saxophone solo that plays the first half of the verse chords. 
the vocals on the guitar come back in for the second half of that verse chord sequence, we then have a sequence of choruses to fade. Here is a playthrough of the intro, verse one, the chorus and the percussive break to give you an idea of how these fit together. One, two, three. Aruba, Jamaica. Florida Keys That's where you wanna go But is in the same This lesson on Surfing USA by the Beach Boys will tick further your Beach Boys fix. It does have some more challenging aspects to it, granted, but it has some excellent riffs. I'll see you next time.